Hi, everybody. We're going to start with the uh, alchemy of yin yoga today. So we'll start sitting down here, since everybody's sitting already. And what the alchemy of it is about is the elements that everything is around us made from, plus what we are. So the elements start off with earth, the mother, then it ha gives birth to what's known as metal. Metal gives birth to water. Water gives birth to wood. And wood gives birth to fire. And then the cycle repeats itself. So the elements that are around us that we're connected with are really part of us. And in addition to the elements, all the animals, the insects, everything contains these qualities. So the alchemy of the art is based on these animals and elements with the qualities of these five energies. So some people call it the five transforming energies or the five element theory. But the theory is one thing and the practice of it is another thing. So as an example, when you talk about the alchemy of the elements, when water takes on the form of metal and becomes a metal element, then the water becomes so hard and so sharp that that's what opened the Titanic up. It was sunk by water, ice. So water became endowed with the energetic state of metal, which means that it is as hard as metal. And you can also, when you talk about the five elements, deal with the elements physically. Metal is an element of metal. But also something else that's not metal contains a little bit of that energy. And it will change. So an icicle is like a, a spear, say. Very hard. Metal gives birth to water in that when you take metal, you can melt it and make it a liquid. But also ice, when it has the energetic state of metal, then becomes water. When we set an icicle here, what happens? It dissolves to the floor, and we can't pick it up even. So all of the postures that you're working are based on these elements along with animals specifically to the elements. So what I'll start you with today is a simple one. We'll start with earth element right here. And we're going to just go like this and open up. And I'm going to show you how the five elements transform in a posture. We're going to start with earth right here. Okay, and then just slowly look forward and lean in. And then we're going to transform and give birth to what's called metal. So right here, we're going to come up and pull the feet together and pull back like this. And then from here, place each hand on each knee and press down and lean forward. When you're metal, you're very hard and firm. So here, you visualize a 100 mile an hour wind coming right into you head on. So you're leaning into the wind like this so that you won't blow over. Contraction and firmness is with metal. And we're going to take that energy here of the metal and give birth to water by relaxing and feeling like you're water for a moment. And just go like this. And now we're going to take water and give birth to wood, so just become the stump. And then taking all your energy from being the stump, you're going to unground yourself looking up to the sky and become the fire element. As you do the fire element, we will just go like this and look up and go that way. Point your toes up and your fingertips up. OK, now we're going to go back to the earth again and return to the earth. Fire returns to the earth.
And then we're going to repeat that cycle one more time. So coming up like this, earth gives birth to metal. So become that metal coat hanger like this here. Lean in. A hundred mile an hour wind is coming at you head on. Okay, now we're going to take this and give birth to water, so you flow out of it just like this and just feel like you're a bag of water swimming like this. <clears throat> just swimming, swimming, swimming. Now when you give birth to wood, you're going to go like this and snap into wood. So wood, the quality is snappiness. It's expansion and springiness, wood. Okay, and then from wood, we're going to give birth to fire. So in fire, it's ungrounded and it's light, rising energy. So look up and just feel light. Then we're going to go right back to the earth. <clears throat> earth is grounded now. Come down and look down deeply into the earth there. Okay, then we're going to come up slowly here. And we'll repeat it just one more time. So earth is calm. <clears throat> Think of it as a neutral. Calm energy that's very steady, unchanging rhythm. It's always constant. The flow of earth is gravity's here. We're always relaxed. We fall to the earth, right? Because we're a bag of water. And what a bag of water does is seeks the lowest point of the earth. So here we're always relaxing. We're feeling grounded. So here on this one, when we're taking earth energy, it's a calm, constant flow. The way a cow moves across the land. Have you seen a cow walking? I always say, be as a cow and you will flow with the Tao. Because a cow is always calm and constantly moving with an unchanging rhythm. Gravity's constant, earth energy means constant, it means calm. So from earth, when you go to metal, that means you change energy states and become very solidified, very hard, rigid, tightness, contraction, firmness. That means metal. And so when you want to do that, you pull into a posture based on metal. This is called the triangle or the coat hanger which is if you go this way here and hook, there's the coat hanger posture. So that's metal energy. Another way of looking at it is to come forward like this here and just look like you're leaning into that 100 mile an hour wind. Okay, and then we're going to take this and give birth to water, which means you just want to flow. And water to wood, we're going to just go right into stump. Okay, and with the stump posture here, we're going to go to fire one more time. And then back to the earth for a moment like this. So that gives you an idea of the birthing cycle of the elements. And now I'm going to show you an example of the yielding cycle. The yielding cycle of the elements means that one element yields to the next element. So here, as we're the earth element here, 
we're going to yield to the wood element. So coming up like this, we're going to go here and become the stump. So the earth yields to the wood element. From this posture, the stump yields to the metal element. So here's how that's done. Metal split the stump. And then lean in. So whatever causes an element to yield, then that's what you become when you do the posture. So now you're the metal. Now the metal yields to the fire element, so we're going to roll back and look up and just feel light and fiery. And then fire yields to water, so you just flow as water. And the water yields to the earth, so then we're just going to fall back to the earth again. So the cycle repeats itself. See, it always goes back to the point that it started. So I'll repeat it one more time again. This is the yielding cycle. It's called the yin yielding cycle. So here we go. We're at earth element. We're going to yield to the wood. So you come up and become the stump. Now, as you're in the stump, you're going to take it and yield to the metal element. So here comes the metal. The metal yields to the fire, so we're going to come up here and just Look up and unground yourself and feel light. OK, and then from the fire, you're going to yield to the water. And the water to the earth, just come back to the earth. Good. Now I'm going to now what I'm going to do is keep you in say one element for several different postures based on the animals. So from this position here this is actually called the toad here and we're going to do the cross-legged toad which is going to be this way. Come up like this. Slowly bring one under and one over. And then looking down just feel very grounded and earthy. OK, we're going to change that position. So you want to feel just like you're a, a frog body or a toad's body when you're doing this. So here, inhale, and then exhale. That's it. Now when you change postures based on earth element, it's done very smoothly and steadily. So you'll see when you change the postures in earth, you want to always go steady, smooth and steady without changing your rhythm. If you're doing, say, wood, then it's going to be springy. As we get to each one, we're going to, you'll see the difference. So we'll try it again in earth energy. Just come up and change. And we'll try again, change. And you don't have to be really rigid and hard. You can move a little bit with the posture that you're in as Earth. You can move with it, see, slightly. 
if you're doing the next one, we're going to do the same posture, but we're going to do it in the metal element state. So watch the difference here. We're going to do this as metal now, the same thing. Watch. I'm holding myself firm as though I'm in a 100 mile an hour wind. So it's teaching you dynamic strength there, holding yourself like you're in that wind. And that's dynamically tightening everything. And that's for you to build strength and muscle tone. And so that's called the metal position of this posture. So metal toad. So when you're ready to change what you do, metal means stopping and starting, stopping and starting, stopping and starting. Earth means constant, unchanging rhythm. Now, now when we go to metal, it's stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. So that means like here, you're here, you take a breath in, and then as you breathe out, solidify and pause and then take a breath in. OK, when you're ready to change, you take a deep breath in. Exhale as you make the change. OK, and then we're going to do the same posture, but this time water. So from here, metal to water. And that means you want to feel like a frog more so, but you could still be a toad, but be a water toad. Very soft and soft flow. Now, when you flow very softly, watch the difference of this one. You come up, just soft like that. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Can you feel the difference in softness there? Right, that's it. Very soft, just like you're made of water. Be made of water. OK, now water to wood, which is going to be springiness. So here we are like this. Just go like this and feel very soft at first. And then just spring. <laughs> That's it. That's the springiness of the frog. So here, spring. That's it. Good. Good. And then fire from this one, we're going to do the fire one. So fire one is this way, very light and very ungrounded, see? Very light, very ungrounded looking up there. Very light, very ungrounded. OK, now from fire, we went right back to the earth again. Good. 